Hi guys, welcome to a video on Cloudera installation on VMware on Windows. Okay, now let us start installing Cloudera in Oracle Virtual Box. So let us see what are the system requirements for the 64-bit virtual machine. We need to first discuss about these requirements and we'll go step by step then on installing the Cloudera in Virtual Box. So regarding system requirements, you need Windows host operating system must be 64-bit. So your host operating system, Windows, it should be 64-bit. First requirement. Another requirement is that the virtual machine box or player must have version 4.6x and higher. And the virtual machine needs 4GB RAM at least. So here host operating system should have 8GB memory for average performance. Okay, now let's go through it. How we are going to install Cloudera and Oracle Virtual Box step by step. So this is the um, document we have prepared for you to install Cloudera. We uh, will be following this step by step in this whole video. So download this VirtualBox executable file um, from this link. Here you will find the VirtualBox platform packages given. So we are going to grab the link for Windows host and let us click on it. It will start downloading as you can see it here. Uh, I will just pause it just uh, because I have already downloaded it on my machine. Okay, now as we can see we have downloaded it and got it on um, in a downloads folder here. Now let us double click it, the exe file it ran, it, uh, to install it in our, on our machine. Just click next, next and next, yes, uh, install. This will take several minutes and then we will get Oracle virtual box on our machine. I'm getting these pop-ups probably because I have already installed it and you won't be getting them. So keep uh, clicking this pop-up which you get and uh, finally your installation will be complete. Yes, yes, finish. Now we're finished with the installation. Now we have got this Oracle VM virtual box manager saying welcome to virtual box this is the interface which you will find after you have installed it successfully this shows that you have installed it successfully now let us go back to our document to find out how much we have followed through it so we have gone through the step one download a virtual box step two we have clicked on the link and then we have this, we have opened it, installed it, and finally, we have so after successfully installing, we get this virtual box manager window appear. So, after you see this window, yes, we have successfully installed the virtual box manager. Now, for installing Cloudera and Oracle virtual box, next step will be that we have this link provided here in the document so that you can download. Cloudera Quick Start VM. Now I'll copy this link, the latest version I'm copying for Cloudera and paste it in my web browser. This is the site I have gone, gone through, this is cloudera.com. Now for getting started, I'll select a platform. I have a virtual box and I'll click download now. I'll get this form, I'll quickly fill up this form for registering in Cloudera and accept it and submit. After submitting, you can see this page. Thank you for your interest in Cloudera Quick Starts. Your download will be, uh, details are below. So you can click if it does not start automatically. And these are the system requirements we have already discussed. And after you get this, you need to have a 7 zip. Uh, to extract these files. So I'll recommend that you have a 7-zip software too to extract these files on your machine. Now after downloading, next step will be 
extracting those files that you can do using 7-zip. Now we'll go to file and import appliance. Let me maximize it. Okay, go to file, import appliance and then we'll search, go to the folder directory structure and we'll uh, add cloud error quick start VM. Next, then we'll import it. So next step is to import it in our virtual box. It will take several minutes um, to get imported in the virtual box. So we have provided you the step-by-step -step guide which you can go through, which you are able to download it after you see this video. So, okay, congratulations. We are successful in installing the Cloudera virtual machine. So if you see the screen, that means you have successfully installed Cloudera on your machine. Yes, okay, thanks a lot.